Now let's recap some of the gist of uh, this lecture. So uh, we first need to understand the S SI units of exposure is coulomb per kilogram. But um, the more commonly used units is Rotkin. It is a very small value, 2.58 times 10 to the minus 4 coulomb per kilogram. Uh, again, uh, another thing that we need to pay attention, no, is the limitation of exposure. It, um, it only applies to photon, lower energy in air. Uh, that's why we introduce a more powerful concept, which is the absorbed dose. It has the unit of gray. One gray is a relatively large unit. It equals the one joule per kilogram. And the uh, one centigrade equals one rad. Uh, those are more commonly used concept. So another uh, important concept is called kerma. So kerma is the kinetic energies of electrons released by photons in a medium per unit mass. It has the same unit as the absorbed dose. And it only pertains to photon beams. So a lot of the concepts won't apply, won't be valid, unless we have charged particle equilibrium. And um, under the CPE situation, exposure and absorbed dose can be converted into each other. So if you have in air, it simply multiply the exposure by the F factor in air, which is 0 0.876, then you'll have the absorbed dose in centigrade or in red. And if you have a medium, you will need to know the energy fluence, you will need to know the absorption uh, coefficients ratio. So at the end, I, uh, I list some of the useful reference. Uh, so Khan is a very classic book. Uh, it gives you the therapeutic side uh, more practical side, and then Addis give you a more theoretical. Uh, if you want to look into deeper, um, this this is a good book. And the last two books, these are uh, very good books for residents, and I've listed in the folder as well.